Hey guys, as we proceed into this course, uh, it's not a course, it's a video series. Let me just refresh on that, but I'm going to be teaching you how to draw the form, the body, very well, and I hope you really learned something today. Uh, so we're going to start by drawing this figure of this guy holding a piano. And first thing you got to realize whenever you're drawing forms, you got to draw a gesture, which captures the movement and the feeling of a person. So right now I'm drawing the gesture of this character that I'm looking at. So, pay attention to this character. As I draw the character, I resize the form to, uh, let's not talk about resize, that's more fortunate. But the gesture of this form is, is a straight, he's standing up straight. And you see, the gesture, whenever you're drawing gesture, you gotta time yourself how long the jester going to take and how fast you got to draw the jester because spending three hours on jester or two minutes or five minutes on jester is not jester. Uh, when you're drawing jester, try to time yourself the max amount is one minute and 30 seconds. Maybe you have a more complex uh, position or you're dealing with multiple characters. Then you can at least hit like two to three minutes. But if you look... If you really look at Jester, it's all form. And right now, I'm looking at the form of this character that I'm drawing. And the form, it just, each form you draw, you realize the form overlaps over the other form. When I draw a muscle, the muscle is going to lapse over the other muscle. I hope you pay close attention to this. Just looking at this dude, if I didn't have the map out, if I didn't map the, uh, the full Jester of his body, like mostly artists... Uh, beginners artists would do is uh, they proceed into drawing the person without a foundation. The the um, the way to a strong building is the foundation. If you want a strong gesture, if you want a strong figure, you have to draw the gesture, which is gonna really help you a lot when you dealing with like uh, a really complex character or a complex object. It's going to help simplify the form for you. So I recommend you use Jester. So I'm just going to draw his body, his form. And while I'm drawing this, I'm going to say, if you haven't yet, come on. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Please do. Because this video takes time. It takes patient it takes practice i'm not gonna talk about what it takes but please subscribe um i really appreciate it and there's not much to gesture gesture isn't everything gesture you can only use gesture for form you just for literally everything you drawing to actually give it that foundation uh you know when you when you driving this is most artists when you driving you cannot see the way ahead so, especially when it's dark, so you rely on your high beams, your lights, and you can only see a short amount of distance, but you rely on that distance till you get, till you reach your destination. So, starting a gesture is like you driving. You start with this foundation, and you're going to keep pushing it till we have a full character, like this. And all you got to do is just reform the form. Maybe your gesture wasn't accurate, and that's what I'm going to get into is practice. Like all my videos, I'm going to tell you the best way to be a good artist, a good in anything in general, is to practice. Practice is going to help you be better no matter what. It's going to help you have a more understanding of things that you really couldn't absorb fast enough i hope i said all right but yeah but practice will really help you so we're just gonna use another form after like drop the positive uh on this we're gonna draw another form and we're just gonna do it again using the same technique we're gonna use gesture again like always when you doing drawing when you consider you trying to draw a form are you trying to use your attribute to draw something amazing you're gonna use gesture. I just gonna keep saying gesture till you know whenever you draw, start with a gesture. And then proceed. A lot of people tend to use the lines 
of guidance. They put the head on the side and they try to create the form. But that will mostly work with standing up figure. If you're trying to do something complex, I really don't recommend this. That's why I recommend you use gesture. Don't worry about you lining up your character with a horizontal line because a skeleton is all in movement. It's your joint is not a horizontal line. Is it horizontal? It's not a vertical line. I keep saying horizontal and you think it's a straight line, but it's a vertical line. And I know I'm right about the vertical and horizontal. So don't comment me in the comments. But if you do, please leave a recommendation on what you want to see in the next video. This video was recommended by Awesome Tutorial. He said do something about form and body. And it was a good idea. That's why I'm approaching it because it's a difficult thing for an artist to learn how to draw the form. So let's pull out the next objective. Which is going to be our lady. We're going to draw a lady. Let's see how we can capture her form. And we'll proceed in drawing a form. Whenever you start a gesture, you start from the head and you go straight down. Unless the form is the person's head is covered and you're going to use for shortening for certain things, which I may get into it in another video because I'm not really big on for shortening. Big as in I'm not really knowledgeable about it, which I'm going to keep learning before I can actually try to help you but with gesture that's my thing I would do when I was teaching people how to use Photoshop to draw for the first time which is my most watched video every day on my channel I started with gesture I started with gesture a lot of artists gonna proceed a figure by just drawing the person first gesture create your foundation take it step by step drive really slow and you're gonna reach a good max and you're gonna and you're going to be better you're gonna have a better foundation of how the form work you're gonna know and trust me my gesture is different from everyone gestures everyone gestures is way different from another from your gesture because you, whenever you gesture something it's like you creating a memory in your head like I can follow this guideline when I'm going over my form. So a gesture is a memory. Is you'll see some people just and be like, he just does three to four lines. I don't know where that girl came from at the end. And you're gonna be like, wow, that was really good. So your gesture is gonna be unique to your art. Uh, those those are the people you learn from. It's gonna be you're gonna grab so much from. So many people, especially if you're being self-taught like me, you're going to learn so much from different people and you're going to create your own style and you're going to be good at what you do. So, as we draw the curve back lady and you at this point of the video, subscribe. Just, just swap back down and just do the due diligence because that's the most lawful thing to do is to click the red button and show support. Because I appreciate the support. I really do. It actually should like y'all really want to see maybe one more video. If one person subscribe, one more video. I don't mind. I will make it. I will make videos anyway. Because I really love it. I I really love trying to give back. Especially knowing it was really hard trying to learn art. When YouTube just came out, it wasn't a lot of source online. And books wasn't all really... It's hard to learn from books for me. I'm the kind of guy and I do it like I see it, then I get it. That's why most of my video I try to draw it so you can see what I'm doing and I hope you are obtaining it for real. And with everything, everything is a challenge. Everything. Just a challenge would be you for shortening a character. When the hand is full, maybe it's too tight, and you have drawing something over here, and it's hard to actually put the... It's hard to explain, but when we cover for shortening, I'm going to really try to... I'm about to take this whole week and try to learn for short. I got a lot of... Honestly, this is, my, this is me, outside of YouTube. I work a lot. I got school. I go to school. For at least a lot of hours. So 
and I gotta do the schoolwork. I'm gonna give show you an example right now. Me recording this, I just got done reading. Doing homework. So yes, imagine I'm actually putting time into this. It's, I hope y'all can really appreciate it and just support and just click the red button. Dude, when you know we be up and down before. I saw Kendra Lamar on in the background. And I hope I don't get copyright and fragment for this. The pride was low. But it is good to know that what's your limit. And this is something I'm going to tell you. Whenever you start drawing, tell yourself I can draw it. Don't say, oh my God, it's too hard. Or it has some yeah. complex form. Or it is not going to do me justice. Just draw it. Please just do it and trust me. Trust and believe me. Your confidence is going to help you. When I was drawing this form, I was talking so much. And I had to start over because it's taking too long on the gesture. So I'm drawing another form because I don't want it to. I want to spend 10 minutes looking, drawing one form. Even though this character is more, have more for a shortening position. And it makes it makes the character much harder to draw. But I drew the gesture really fast. I didn't care if it even looked right, and I started creating the form. Look at my gesture. That's that's some terrible gesture. You can't even what you're gonna do with that. But you're gonna clar clarify your gesture. That's what's gonna make your art better. Because whenever you, when you're creating like a whole movie scene, like. Uh, the hero, the antagonist, uh, and the protagonist both meet in this hallway. And there's so many people running away because they both got some crazy superpower. And the building is half on fire and the fire is approaching the antagonist. And the protagonist is trying to use his force field to black this thing. If you're thinking about stuff like that as an artist and you're trying to draw it, you just do scribble lines and gesture it. And try to look up forms. If you're not that good at creating your own form, try to look up forms that are going to fit your design. And you can create this gesture. Use your imagination to create a better art using gesture. If you watch my uh, my environmental design art tutorial, that art is completely gesture. I draw me approaching a kingdom that I dreamed about. And I'm running towards this king. I'm on a horseback. And there's two dead people in front of us. And the castle is so big. And when you think about stuff like that. You don't just, just go draw it. You plan it out. You gesture it out. I gesture is a plan. So this video is mostly based on gesture and form. Because I feel like. If you know gesture. You will know how the form works. When you draw the gesture of this lady. Who's laying down. You're able to understand that maybe this one overlaps. And the gesture is not going to capture the full body, the full character. The gesture is only going to serve as a foundation. So, go on out there, take gesture for lesson, man. I appreciate that we got that video that I pulled up on it. Me, I say, me, I say, me, I say, just going to be the number one thing for artists to learn. That's me, I say. What they I say, they say that for all. Me I go and I suggest an best, 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 best approach to the artist can test to be the best I can be. All I say, all I say, go on at it. Sometimes I just like to get African for a second because I just like to get African for a second. Realize I'm an African, natively. But right now I'm just trying to keep your company as you watch me draw this. That just really it though. But this form over here that I'm drawing is a cylinder form. I I was thinking I show you my book when I was learning how to draw the figure. It's terrible. I was really bad. And sometimes I realize her leg is not pointing upward. And some simple detail can actually make your art stand out. Her Legs were pointing down. Despite her form is not really the perfect. But I would capture her movement. Though. She is laying down. You can show this to her character. And say what is the person is doing. They're laying down. Do it look right? No. Do it match the picture that I'm looking at? No. Is it a good form to actually 
uh, have a is it a good foundation if you want to really go ahead and try to make it better yeah it's a good foundation you can keep adding to this form till you really get it right if you understand what I'm saying so don't kill the vibe I'm a sinner I'm probably gonna sin again if love can forgive me love forgive me things I really don't understand like gesture and I pray love forgive you too so you can understand gesture that's the music playing in the background I'm not trying to make this up but he's he's spied on all right this the last figure I'm gonna draw and I really got tired for a second I had some setbacks I had to pause the video my battery died and all type of stuff and this video I just actually averaged in real time at 58 minutes I just sat here and drove for 58 minutes that's that's time consuming but I loved it it was a good practice despite the fight I'm actually teaching you is is a really good practice guys guys please subscribe if you haven't yet I really don't like reminding people of it because I feel like I'm like forcing people to do something you don't force me to make a video you but if you leave a recommendation if you if your topic is really spot on like draw how can I learn how to paint because my last painting video I was tired I really didn't put my all in it and that's something you got to realize as an artist is you know your full potential but sometimes you might tend to be like I'm gonna just I'm gonna just do whatever and just give whatever if you give your all you get your all if you put your all into it you're gonna get all back you're gonna repeat <laughs> I said repeat you're gonna what's the word is I know someone to come back can you just help me it's not you're gonna you're gonna reap it. yeah you're gonna reap what you sow cuz when you sow into the sea of gesture you're gonna obtain gesture you're gonna have it beautifully displayed beautifuler beautifully who said it that's frozen yeah beautiful no I don't mean beautiful I mean you beautiful but you beautiful I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm off topic but sow your seed into gesture and you're gonna reap what you sow because it, it gives back is a is a is an investment a practice is an investment you won't see change the immediate the moment you draw it you're gonna see change over time just compare your old art or to the art where you did like two years ago and that don't even make sense comparing your old artwork to artwork you did two years ago the two years ago artwork gonna be old so <laughs> Commentary, yeah, commentary is hard, guys. I gotta actually talk for at least um, twenty minutes trying to accommodate this video. It's it's hard. If you wanna do my next commentary, let me know. I would let you. I would send you the video. You can record an audio, and I will just give you some punchlines, like what I want you to talk about. And you can just add your ones too in it. If you are artist, and you can, if you can do that, just hit the commentary, and that's it. You will see how hard this thing can be trying to accommodate a full video without resting. Let me get some water. Because you're going to feel this in your shimp nim nim when I'm done. You know what's happened on earth stays on earth? So what happened when I died and all this video lived on? It stays on earth. Because I'm willing to die for art. I will put a Bible down and go out for this. I've been stumped out in front of my mama because of art. All my grandmoms are dead. That's true. 30 minutes later and the fans is watching. And the music is playing in the background. And it's element. If I got to slap someone really hard. Because they're not following gesture. I'm going to make it look sexy. 
I'm going to make it look sexy. So guys, go ahead, please. Go on and hit the subscribe button. I hope you learned something today. It's your favorite artist, Pascal. That's how I end this video. Go on and then I hit the subscribe button, man. Make them please now. Take the subscribe button seriously. Make them click them. Yeah, man. Please hit the subscribe button. I just say that in different languages. Hit the subscribe button. Different languages. And... I I really speak different languages, honestly. That's why I made my English is not really accurate. But guys, please leave a recommendation what you want to see in the next video. It's your favorite artist. It's your favorite artist. Dabbing now. Signing now. Okay. Dab. Should I say dab when I'm about to end the video? I'm just joking. Y'all have a great one, yo. It's been a pleasure serving this video to y'all. Okay.